hey guys Zach here welcome back to the channel so today I'm going to show you guys how to remove the blower and the cooling coil cover so you can clean the cooling coil you know if it's dirty and everything you know um, moisture creates all this you know bacterial and stuff like that it starts to have all this kuman na, kuman. <laughs> uh, basically you know it will start to be extremely dirty I'm trying to figure out where is the air filter the cabin air filter but yeah i can't really seem to find it so let's open it up and figure out by yourself so yeah so um to open up this is a blower so to open up the blower very simple all you have to do is just remove this can remove this pipe okay move that away i think that one is to provide circulation for the motor so it doesn't heat up and then there are three bolts one here it's one there one there and one up here it's three bolts so let's open it up so i got a blower up and as you can see it's super filthy it's really really dirty if you look the inner part see how black it is so it's always best to open up um, this is an 8 mm screw 8 mm bolt i think this is a Sephiro blower i'm not so sure but if you look closely um, either it's using a Sephiro wiring or an r32 wiring but it's definitely has been bridged together as you can see um, the connector is definitely slightly different as you can see as well the connector is different so i'm pretty sure someone actually um, did that so I'm going to remove the plug Alright, so I've removed the connector And as you can see this one, um, there's no connector to it actually um, It's just one side, the female side And they just plug in like that Straight directly to this connector and use it as a blower um, The wire is not long enough though. If the wire is... No, actually the wire is long enough so why didn't they just creep it with another connector but i'll need to find this connector with a pin um, oh it uses this kind of pin it uses a normal you know terminal where you use for audio system and stuff like that yeah so i'll just probably remove this top black cover when you remove this black cover on top here you can just pull out the wires and the terminal pin so i'll probably just cut make a new one and reuse this connector and directly plug in here that way you don't have wiring coming out here you know getting shorted and stuff like that so yeah let's see how filthy it is look how dirty it is it's super dirty so this is the outside vent as you can see there's a flap here inside there I'm not so sure if you guys can see that but yep so I'm gonna give it a clean a little bit you know make sure everything is clean and then we will probably open up the blower uh, sorry the cooling coil cover and clean this part as well so before that let's open this up uses a 8 mm screw also for the blower here guys two of the blower use uh, 8 mm and one of it uses a 10 mm on the left side here the left side here was using the 10 mm and the other two is 8 mm so you just gotta slowly push it i guess i don't know uh, all you gotta do is hold this part hold the base and the blower and just push it across like how you do a pulley remover and push it and push it keep pushing it and wiggle a little bit and it should be up that's about it that way so as you can see there's a flat moon here that way as you can see at the motor as well there's a flat moon here a flat surface here so that's the angle for it um, motor seems okay there's nothing wrong with it there's no noise or such so it's definitely in perfect condition um, it's just filthy so I'm gonna dump this inside the bucket and give it a really nice clean to it.
Hey guys, alright, so um, sadly I didn't manage to install the cabin blower yet. Um, as you know, the car is actually outside and it started pouring just now, so I had to rush him back. I didn't even manage to open the cooling coil because um, basically it's a one piece, there's no easy access. Well, it's an old car, old design, so you don't really have access to the cooling coil area unless you open up the whole entire cooling coil which I didn't want to because there's a lot of bunch wiring that the previous owner you know bridge everywhere and connected like all the previous R32 wiring with the Sephiro wiring so there were no easy clip outs to just remove the coil and stuff like that so I didn't really want to mess with it um, so what I did was I used this instead car uh, and conditioner cleaner so basically what it does is um, you there's a hose there a long hose so I went in through the blower side into the cooling coil and I just sprayed sprayed the whole entire area um, it's foam type and what it does is it degrees like the whole cooling coil and it wouldn't really matter though because all the fluid will actually goes out to the fluid reservoir uh, hose where you know when your cooling coil gets extremely cold as well the water has to go somewhere and there's a whole outlet that goes below the car so what i did was i sprayed this into the cooling coil i sprayed into the aircon vent i sprayed near the blower side i sprayed almost everywhere but you got to make sure on the blower side you put a cloth there because once you remove the blower you know the water can't really escape from there except the only part is actually the cooling coil so yeah this is really good it's really cheap as well I got it from Ace Hardware. Fast and easy, affordable way to kill germs, bacteria, mold, and dirt, and stuff like that. It's really, really good. It's flammable, yeah, guys. So make sure that you do not use, like, while you're smoking and stuff like that. Um, also, make sure not to touch your hand, your eye, and everything. So make sure you wear a safety glass and a mask and stuff like that. And a glove as well guys you know don't take risks always have safety on first um, basically it says run engine for 10 minutes with ac heater on to build up heat in system then turn on off engine and stuff like that but i didn't really do that um, because well i can't really start a car and the interior is really you know everything is out so the van is out as well so i just you know let it soak uh, for the whole throughout the night and it should be good and I'll probably do it again one more time, you know, just to rinse it again properly. So, yep. Yeah, uh, between I go, guys, before I end the video, I'm just going to show you guys what I've been doing. I'm using this stuff to actually um, blacken out the interior, as you can see. I can even blacken out the carpet. Looks really good, right? Now it's like really black. Um, previously it was like light black grey I guess I don't know like it's a little bit of light grey as you can see like the material here and everything it's not really black hey guys alright so I've did the other side and this is the original one that I had that I did earlier and this is a newly um, side pillar B pillar that I did so as you can see how look how clean it is you know it looks really really nice it looks really really black you know which is something I really really like um, as you can see this part here as well um, yeah, I missed a spot there. Um, yep, I did actually a little bit. So you can just touch it up. Very simple. Take it. You don't have to fill it all the time, yeah, guys. There's always a little bit of it. So yeah, just touch it. I know sometimes you feel like, um, is it there? Is it working? And trust me, it is. You know. As one time I was doing it, I was like, oh, it, well, it doesn't look like it's applying anything. But when I put it on the floor, 
there is you know so trust me all you want to do is just this whole entire bottle will last you your whole entire interior trust me i rest assure you this is the one that i had last time for the whole bmw interior and the audi s4 interior i still have half left so one bottle you can do your entire interior including your dashboard and stuff like that your bonnet and every part of the interior even your engine bay you can do your engine bay on your wiper console area and stuff like that cover so yeah but um just to make it clear guys this will only work if you have a really dark gray interior uh, i'm not so sure with light gray but something that is black dark gray you know anything that is dark colors you know but not dark brown and stuff like that it has to be a little bit black that it will work any other colors i don't think so it will work guys especially like those light gray and stuff like that yeah i don't think it will work but um for example yeah you can see the glove box the handle part is really faded right so oh, it's, trust me it's still there you just gotta squish it so you can see i'll show you guys i'm not i know it's not really clear guys sorry about the lighting but i'm gonna make sure it becomes black again so yeah you just gotta dab 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 a bit scratch it a bit and there you go it's black all again um, I like this one because there's a sharp edges and there's a big area as well you can get the edges real nice and stuff so yeah and for the dashboard that I'll be doing I'm gonna be using the roller tie this type very easy you just put it all on top of it and just roll the whole entire dashboard and it works wonders so you can see the area like this part here is all blackened and this part here is still all bright sorry if you guys can't really see it because of the lighting though but trust me you can see there's a lot of difference though. all right so i wouldn't really be putting everything back together uh basically it's just um putting back the blower is as simple as that just make sure the half moon knob put it back screw the 10 millimeter sorry the 8 millimeter into it screw back the blower two 8 millimeter and one 10 millimeter and you're good to go so that's how you remove your blower from the Sephiro a31 guys probably r32 i'm not so sure to be honest um i've checked online um they both look almost identical so i think it will be pretty much the same for the r32 and the Sephiro a31 i i might be mistaken guys but um i'll i've double checked and they look almost alike and identical as well so thank you so much for watching always guys i appreciate it so so much do like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video ciao guys